I have some really cool stuff to share. Well, let me just go ahead and get into it. So I went to Dollar Tree and I got a lot of cool stuff to organize my house. So you will see what I um, have done with everything um, in my next few videos. And they will be titled Pinterest Tried It because these are ideas that I saw on Pinterest. And they looked so simple and so neat and just what I needed with organizing and keeping things in order and doing it e in an easy way and doing it for cheap. So there are a ton of things that you can get at Dollar Tree. And so basically I took a trip to Dollar Tree the other day and honestly I went in there for a few exact things and I came out with a whole lot more. Um, so I got a little carried away, but it was necessary for the most part. All right, so first, I got just some simple clear plastic containers. Um, they came with lids, but I didn't get the lids because I don't need the lids. These are going to go in my work drawer. Um, my work drawer is my large drawer in the kitchen and basically it's filled with nails and work tape and hammers and um you know just things around the house like tools but not the actual tools that go in the toolbox um it started off with nails and leftover bolts and things like that when the house was built and so basically we just continued to add that type of stuff to the drawer and now it is so full it is hard to open and close it and everything is just a mess and you have to like just dig through everything to try to find what it is that you're looking for so i have these to basically section off the big stuff next i got um a picture frame um of course it's a frame for us to certificate but I'm, of course I'm gonna take that out but I put a I'm putting a picture in here I'm gonna show you all um, the pictures that my family and I took um, we took our first family photos as a family of four and I was the photographer so I took the photos right here at home I took our family photos and I have four of the photos framed and on the wall so I'm gonna show you all those in just a little bit and I have another photo that I needed to frame. Let's see if I can. That's AJ's potty alarm. And let's see if I can slide it out here without messing up anything. So this is a photo of the boys that I took. So it's two photos. <laughs> And I just put it together in one. So at the top there, it says McCutcheon Brothers. So I'm going to put this in a frame and add it to our other um, family photos. Ooh, that's bright. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. Um, I got these baskets. There's three of them. And they're pretty big. So I got these baskets, and as you can see, I really like this color. This is my favorite color, turquoise. Um, I love pink for the longest, and basically pink was my favorite color just by default. I had an assignment in seventh grade where we had to write poetry based on our favorite color, and I didn't have a favorite color at the time. So I was like, well, I got a lot of stuff in my room that's pink. I will go with pink. And I just stuck with pink until, you know, I actually became an adult and had to decorate my first house. And then I was like, you know, what color do I like? And I just, I really like turquoise. So I got three of these baskets. These are going to go in the laundry room. So when I do my laundry room organization, you will see what exactly I'm going to use those for. So this is where I got carried away um, because I got these. They're water squares. So, yeah. And I got, I got four of them. 
so that AJ, my husband, and I, and my niece, we can have some summer fun outside. I also bought AJ a football and baseball and bat. <laughs> I couldn't help it. It's the summer and I just want to have so much fun with him. I got these and I got I got three of these three of them these are two and that's one and so these are going to go um, somewhere they're going to go somewhere um, I have some red ones also and they are going to go in the cabinets in the bathrooms um, also bought this at Dollar Tree. This is where I got carried away once again. It's just a planner, but it's not very often that I get a planner for a dollar because I always get them too late and I always end up getting them at Walmart, but I had no idea that Dollar Tree had them. And they had like a ton of calendars too. So I was just standing there looking at all the calendars. I love calendars because I love being able to see, you know, the days and the months and what's coming up and yeah. Now, this is not Dollar Tree, this is Walmart. So I took a quick trip to Walmart and I got six of these crates. And these, <laughs> these are going to go in the laundry room also. So I'm really excited about what I'm getting ready to do with the crates. And I'm excited to show you all what I'm going to do with them. All right, so then I saw these little plastic containers with the section and um yeah they're like that real hard glass like plastic so I got these these will go in the work drawer also so for the smaller stuff so to hold things like nails and bolts and things like that so I got three three of these <laughs> I guess I forgot, but I really, I, I got the calendars. <laughs> I forgot I did. I got the calendars and I grabbed three of them. <laughs> so one will go in um, the kitchen because I have a calendar in the kitchen. Um, so that way, uh, basically there's a calendar to just show uh what's going on what we got coming up as a family or whatnot um and i just realized i need another calendar um so i have a calendar for our bathroom so that way uh you know because sometimes when you're sitting in the bathroom it's just good to see like oh okay so this is what we got going on a good place to have a reminder of what's coming up and then a calendar for my office and I need another calendar for the kids room because that calendar I use to keep up with you know their age you know like they're gonna be this month at this on this day um, and then their first like their first movie trip trip to the movies um, things like that I was in need of some pencils I, I love lead pencils mechanical pencils um, because I like I don't like dull writing <laughs> so I like that with mechanical pencils I always have a crisp writing <laughs> crisp point um and then I got labels these are dry erased labels just like what I have in the refrigerator um if you check out my um kitchen organization um you will see that I organize all of the sections in the refrigerator with labels so that everybody knows where everything goes in the refrigerator and I use dry erase labels I started off using dry erase markers but that didn't work out too well because when you're taking things in and out of the fridge that stuff wipes off so then I just wrote on the labels with permanent marker and it's perfect so what I'm going to do is with the containers that I have I'm going to label them and I'm going to use a permanent marker to label everything with what goes where. And then I got this cute little basket here. It's very thin and flimsy. So this is what I'm excited about too. This is going to go in the bathroom. So this is going to hang 
um, either not on the shower but somewhere in the shower this is going to hang and so this is going to be the place where we will put our razors and um, our shampoos and body washes and things like that instead of sitting them along the little edges in the shower where things where like just filth start to collect up under them so yeah so we will have that in there to keep things organized I'm so excited I'm just so excited to get this stuff organized um one more thing okay so two more things <laughs> all right so I got some baskets also just small medium basket so I got okay <laughs> so I got four of these so they're this size so I got four of these and I'm just I'm so excited yo I couldn't wait so I actually got six of these but I used two of them already so I'm getting ready to show you in just a minute how I use them because I'm just I'm so excited about these y'all Dollar Tree Dollar Tree this and you're oh my gosh all right and so and then i got some small ones and these will also go in the work drawer and other areas of the house to help with sectioning and organizing things and then i got this so it may be like okay what in the world do you need that for well how are you going to use that to organize i'm using this in the bathroom so this will be in the middle of the double sinks and we'll have, you know, the the toothbrush holder with the toothbrushes and um, the hand soap and the lotion. So that way, this is the designated area to put all of the hygiene things. And so that the rest of the counter is clear. So that means that this is the place to put things. And if there is anything outside of this, it's not supposed to be there okay so this is supposed to be like a good reminder and to keep things organized and you know as that reminder to keep everything organized and then it's it looks nice I wanted something that looked fancy and y'all a dollar I'm just so excited all right so now let me show you what I use the baskets for and I'm gonna show you our uh, family photos that I have up so let me go ahead and show you that now Come on. Okay, so in my office, I will do a video and I will actually be starting a new channel soon and it will be my AR learning channel. So this will be where I will show um, basically teaching tips and learning tips and things like that. So in the mornings, I actually work for VIP Kid and I have some baskets here See the baskets on the wall they're like handmade shelves and I use those to hold my flashcards with um, well my flashcards that go with each lesson so that way if I'm teaching a lesson let's say I'm teaching the lesson on family members I just grab this envelope and then all of my flashcards in that unit are in there and I just have the baskets just on the wall with text just like that and they stay put and I'm going to add more because with my tutoring I also have you know flashcards and sight words and whatnot so I'm going to add another basket um, for those so yeah y'all I'm so excited and yes I have my own tutoring service and it is called AR learning let's see if that'll zoom in well not zoom in but well yeah zoom in so it's not blurry but yeah so I have my own tutoring service and I'm going to start a channel for that in just a moment and yes I use these little shelves to organize all of my binders I also have a money management course coming out very soon so look out for that so yeah so let's go look at the family photos so in the living room I have our family photos up here so these are our spring 2018 family photos our first photos as a family of four didn't they come out great i just love these pictures and believe it or not i took the pictures right there <laughs> i did and look at how nice they came out 
with me and hubby me and the boys and hubby well, all four of us and that one is me and the boys <laughs> and hubby and the boys they are all just so they're so gorgeous i love them all yeah so now i have to add the picture of just the boys to my collection so i'm not sure where exactly i'm going to put it on this wall or if i'm going to put it on a different wall not sure these are all photos that i already have of us basically me and hubby when we were just the two of us and then when we had aj so and there's not really a real pattern going on here so i'm not sure if i'm going to add the photos of the two boys here or where not sure maybe you all can give me some ideas in the comments thinking maybe this area maybe not but yeah let me know any ideas that you all have in the comments all right so that's what my photos look like in the frames um and that's how i'm using the little baskets well one of the ways that i'm using the little baskets so go ahead and hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you'll be notified when i post the next video when i organize the bathroom the kitchen, again, <laughs> part two of the kitchen, and the laundry room. Um, the laundry room will probably be first. So if you want to see how I organize that with these Dollar Tree items and Walmart, <laughs> go ahead and subscribe and um, hit the bell. And also hit the like button. And also comment any ideas or questions that you have that you would like to see me organize or ideas of how I can do some other organizing. So I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching.